to partly understand how these massive doses of vitamin C work, one has to understand free radicals. Free radicals are molecules that have lost an electron and they're very reactive because they want that um, electron back in the worst way and they'll glom onto any other uh, nearby molecule to join together. And when two molecules join together that shouldn't join together, then damage has been done. Now these free radicals mediate all inflammations. By that I mean redness, swelling, and pain. Now the ascorbate, by being an electron donor or antioxidant, is neutralizes the free radicals and so that's how it's able to knock out these inflammation. I, I wrote this uh, article, The Three Faces of Vitamin C, um, which tries to illustrate this point. One of the difficulties that people have with understanding vitamin C is because it serves several functions. Uh, first off, in, in the non-controversial things, is that vitamin C is a vitamin in tiny amounts, prevents scurvy, it's necessary for the buildup of collagen and dentine and the function of the immune system and so forth, but just tiny amounts are need, needed to do that. Well so that just a few milligrams, maybe I think the recommended daily allowance is about 60 milligrams, and that easily does all those vitamin C functions. But then what happens when a person starts getting sick, or if they have any bugs in them, like a lot of people carry a little bit of Epstein-Barr virus, or herpes 6, or candida, diseases like this create free radicals in the body, which burn up the ordinary, ordinary amount of vitamin C which means that you have to take a moderate dose to be able to make up for this indwelling formation of free radicals all the time. These free radicals are aging and so this slows down the aging process a little bit. Uh, but anyway, that's the second phase is making up uh, for this ordinary loss of free radicals, uh, ordinary loss of vitamin C due to these free radicals um, with everyday living. Then finally is that when you really get sick with a cold or a flu or something then the free radicals have overwhelmed the ascorbate in your body and you're unable to produce enough electrons to keep refueling the vitamin C and so that's when you start getting sick. Well at this point you can throw away ascorbic acid. We're actually throwing away the vitamin C for the electrons carried. You see, most of the time, uh, the body is replacing the electrons that the ordinary doses of vitamin C uh, lose in neutralizing free radicals. But when we get sick, that ability of the body is overwhelmed. So then we have this enormous amount of free radicals that are formed when we're sick. This is where the throwing away of ascorbic acid makes sense. So we're actually throwing away all this vitamin C for the electrons carry. So people who say that we're just wasting it and have the most expensive in urine in town, uh, they don't get the point. Is the vitamin C perhaps is coming out in the urine to a certain extent, but it's minus the electrons. And the electrons then have neutralized the free radicals and that what is what causes the reversal of the symptoms of these infectious diseases.